Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria and welcome if you're new here. I just introduced myself obviously. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. Um, what this video is going to be about is suicide and um, just you know, I want to talk about this because I have struggled with it. I've struggled with a lot of things but um, the main thing for this video is raising awareness because this is currently Suicide Prevention Awareness Month, I believe, and I just really wanted to, you know, share some of my struggles and just I want to raise awareness for it because, you know, no one, no one needs to feel like that they are not worthy of life and they, no one needs to feel like they are unloved and I know how it feels to feel unloved and I know all of that. So, yeah, basically... I'm not going to go through my whole life story because that's a whole other video, but, you know, basically, uh, like, there have been several times in my life where, you know, I just, I didn't want to be here anymore, and that's mainly because of the influence of people, and I thought that they had control over my life, and I was letting them have control, and the main point in my life was when I completely lost it, was through my first breakup, was, that was literally the not hardest thing I went through but when you've never really you know had a relationship if you've never um and when someone tells you they love you or whatever you you know you believe that because you know you're you're young you're stupid you think oh my gosh yes um but uh you know that was just a complicated story and I'm not getting into that story but that was just the major you know downfall of oh my gosh I'm not good enough and it was also previous things that um uh that had happened throughout my life and people would uh, bully me and crap and it was just terrible and I just thought that I wasn't worthy of life I I seriously would come in my room and I would cry and I would pray to God that whenever I got in the car that I would die in a wreck or something because I was just so I was so miserable and I literally when you're depressed and you just want to die like you don't there comes a point where you yeah you realize that people care and you realize that you're loved in a sense but you just want the pain to stop that's what you want it's not that you want to cause people pain or you don't want to be here anymore necessarily but the pain exists and it's real and um you know that's why i tell people you can cry because crying is what your body needs to do you need a release you need to release all of that anger and hurt and everything. But what I tell myself is don't cry for that same reason again. You can, but if you just continually cry over and over for that reason, it's it's not going to help you. Because, you know, in a few years you're going to be like, why the heck was I crying about that? That was pointless. I am so much better now. And, you know, that's kind of good to, like, look back on it like that. But then again, it's just kind of like, why did I waste my time when I could have been making myself happy? And, you know, whenever you're you're in that state of mind, you know, you feel like nothing can make you happy. And the problem I had was I was trying to rely on people to, you know, make, my ha make me happy. And it was honestly just, it was stupid for me because I was constantly relying and depending on people to, you know, quote unquote, make me happy or, you know, give me something to be happy about because their existence in my life was something that apparently made me happy. But in reality, even though they'd say, oh, I'm not going to leave you. Oh, it's okay. You know, you can talk to me. Yeah, that was a lie because people, they leave and people, they say, oh, you can talk to me, but then once it's like you talk to them, it's like, oh, no, I can't deal with this. You need to go deal with your own problems. And it was just really, it was, it was hard and, um, it was, and that's not necessarily like, oh, um, why I wanted to kill myself because, you know, there's way more, um, like it would be a whole nother, um, video like dedicated to the whole story of why you know I just didn't want to be here anymore but you know the major factors was just you know hard times in my life people um just school and life and it was just a lot of hard things but what I just want to tell you guys is that suicide is not it's not the way to go and I can completely tell you that because I used to think I was the person that was like, there's no way out of this. I'd watch countless videos about 
about it and I was just like there was nothing for me I found no hope I was like I'm not gonna get to experience all those other things in my life that I would get to experience because I thought no I'm not gonna make it that far because I want to kill myself and in the in reality we don't even have that much time as a person so so why end it why because you know it'll life life is gonna get better like that's freaking the most cliche thing to say but life's gonna get better I I can promise you that and you know it's not gonna get better automatically and you're gonna have to put work into that like you're gonna have to be dedicated to making your life better because it's it's you it's you it's ultimately you your decision and when you see the light and you're like oh my gosh if I just work hard and I work until I am like I find my value and you know I'm like hey I'm freaking a daughter of Christ of God like I deserve life and I don't need people speaking these lies and these death words because there's life and death in the tongue and people people have said terrible things to me they've called me terrible things and you know it kind of goes back to you know hate comments those hate comments are something you cannot let get to you because why would you let them when you're passionate about something like I'm passionate about doing YouTube I'm not gonna let those hate comments I'm not letting them you know interfere with my life because I have supporters I myself I'm doing this for me and I'm doing it for God and I'm doing it for other people who need to hear that it's gonna get better that they're loved that they're cared, cared about about someone that's maybe 500 million miles away across the ocean because if I can reach one life if I can save one heart one life from breaking I think that, that that's a quote from like Emily Dickinson or something like if I can my friend has it on her on her Instagram bio and I saw it and I was like oh my gosh that's so mean it's like if I can save one heart from breaking then I will not die in vain or something and that's just like so true it's so me because whenever I created this channel I I, I would always tell people I was like I only want to I not only want to save one life, you know, but that matters way more to me than saving zero lives. Like, I'd rather save one than, you know, have, like, I'm not doing this for the publicity and I'm not doing it so I can, you know, be, you know, a famous person with a million subscribers, you know? Like, I, I want to save one life and I've already saved, like, three or four and I write down people that there was this girl that commented like last year on some of my videos saying that I help her to see that she was beautiful and that's what I that's what I do that's what I love because I know what it's like to feel like you're the ugliest creature ever I know what it feels like to be be like feel like you're trash like you know I relate so much because I'm a normal person like you. Yeah, I don't have 20 million subscribers, but regardless, I'm still a normal person like you. I go to school, I get stressed out, I have anxiety. I'm a normal person, okay? Okay, we've covered that. I don't know why I'm talking so fast. I'm just like so happy because this is what I love. And you know, I want you to find something that you love. I want you to, you know, be like, hey, life is so worth living. Hashtag Justin Bieber. Okay. Um, yeah, but your life has purpose. <laughs> Justin Bieber again, you know, I'm just quoting him. Um, but, but seriously, guys, like, if you ever need me or, you know, I want to get a P.O. box so bad so y'all can write me letters and I will be here for you guys. So that is the main um, message I want to get out there. This is not exactly, you know, I was just kind of winging this and just wanted to talk because I feel like it's more, you know, it's more real than, you know, writing a script and going off of that. Like you're not um, really, you're not really being passionate about it. You're going from a script and it's not, you know you can't really get out everything you want to say and then you're like oh I wish I said that but um yeah that's all for this video I really encourage you if you ever need someone talk to me I'm here for you I will never pre I just want you guys to know I'm not gonna pressure you to believe the religion I believe because I'm a Christian and this is the like my channel obviously is gonna have Christian things in it so if you know if you're against it then you know go right ahead that's your choice and I'm not gonna push you into believing what I believe you know I'm not I respect people that's what I wanna say um yeah so and I'm making a statement so you're not like 
20 years later like oh what you're a christian okay yeah that's all for this video i love you guys so much and as always be happy and my necklace is over there so that's why i'm not showing it and i'll see you guys in my next video it's over now.